There we started building some of the things like uh, how we can uh, test for container security issues, mm -hmm. how we can use ourselves, Kubernetes and stuff. Then I said, okay, tomorrow I join some company. There is a front end dude. I have to go and talk to him. At least I know some cool frameworks I can talk to him. Hello everyone, this is Asim and today I have with me Madhu and you might know him from the Kubernetes Gold project. He's quite popular, the, the Madhu. So, Madhu, can you please tell us something about yourself? Yeah, uh, myself Madhu, I've been working mostly in security for a while. Uh, I think I've been trying to share most of my research with the community. Currently working for myself, I think, uh, doing consulting and working on the Kubernetes containers and cloud native area. Madhu is being modest here. Yeah. <laughs> for a while means like 10-12 years. Yeah. Uh, anything if you search on Kubernetes security, you will definitely find some reference of him. There's a very awesome project Kubernetes code that he is currently maintaining. And I've been to his Kubernetes training in Nalcon 2022 Goa. That's where I and Rohit are shooting this. So yeah. So Madhu, I would like to ask you, how has this journey been? How did you start into security? Ah, okay. <laughs> then I think I'll go long. <laughs> So yeah, so I started mostly in, not into security security. So if you think like my, I did not had computer till my 10th class. I think I didn't even know what is computer. So then after that I had to start understanding like mostly system administration. Like mostly I was fixing our hardware like PC assembly and stuff. Then I said okay it's all good then I'm like liking network. So I didn't join after 10 like most people join like plus 12. I joined uh, in, uh, Polytechnic. Oh, you know, like electronics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was also very curious about it. Okay. <laughs> so then I used to do electronics because I thought I liked the PC assembly and all. Then after I doing, okay, I said like some people are doing market ad like in our website. Uh -huh. oh, it looks so cool, then I have to do how it is. So that is one of the first reason I switched back to the branch also. So my engineering, once I started like uh, shifting from diploma to engineering, uh -huh. I joined information technology. Okay. So then I said, okay, it's all good, like I can write some code now. Uh, and I like information, like I mean, say system administration. So I used to use Linux and write bunch of bash scripts and stuff that time. Then I used to start learning in online only like how I can learn uh, the security of the aspects because most of the things come from networking, my background. Yeah, then it was good and then I used to find small bugs in some companies and stuff at that time. It was not so popular. Then I said, okay, why not I learn more in the online. So when was this? Did you find uh, it in 2012 or 11, I oh, think. Yeah. Yeah. So you were already in college? Then? Yeah, college that time. Okay. Yeah. Then I said, okay, I'll start doing this, but it was so good that I started teaching to other people because that's the easier way I thought I can learn because there is a time deadline. I can go and explain them. So that, that means I understood. Yeah, exactly. So I went back and started teaching to Indian Navy. Uh, I did have one bootcamp for them on CH, actually long back, or ethical hacking kind of thing. Yeah, then I said, I started doing for some colleges and things. Then suddenly I think I started involving with Null, I think quite early in 2013 or yeah, 13 or 12. So then I know through them, I never met one and meet also, but I know the community. Okay. So I used to follow the things and stuff. But uh, then Payatu reached out. I think I used to work for my first job is uh, Payatu, like the oh, Nalpan. Okay. That so I was working as a consultant for one of the company in Dharamshala. Okay. <laughs> so it was a beautiful place. Yeah, travel all over. Yeah. Yeah. Over. yeah. Okay. yeah. So there I joined as a, a consultant. So I was building one of the company's uh, infrastructure from scratch. Like building, even literally like crimping up the like cable and building oh, the entire so network. Literally yeah, yeah, yeah. So I build the entire network gear, building the systems, active directories. That's uh, quite yeah. fascinating. Then monitoring, detection and all. Then yeah, I think it was there a year. That time I used to find a lot of this uh, bug bounty research. Uh, I think Hacker One was not there that time. Only bug fraud was there. So I used to do every day like there is something new. I used to go and hack and get some Hall of Fame. There was no money though. I used to get a t-shirt a lot. I never bought a t-shirt for I think next five years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then I said, okay, it's all good. I was being there a year. I learned uh, so much things because that's where I learned breadth of knowledge than like going into specific area. Uh, not only security, but other area. Then I thought most of my friends used to join bigger companies like enterprises, like college. Yeah. So why not? I joined one so that I learn. Yeah. So I joined Walmart. <laughs> So the biggest big company. <laughs> yeah, first in one. So <laughs> there I joined as first network security hire in India. So they used to have a back in US team. Uh -huh. So my job was okay, do some research and build something. Uh, we used to do lots of like management of firewalls in large scale. But I come up with this uh, ELK stack that an ELK uh -huh. were three different products. Elastic by Shia Barlin, uh, Rashid Khan created Kibana, uh -huh. like a large stash by someone else. So I built that for Walmart scale, like how we can detect a lot of security okay. attacks. 
So uh, there was one big uh, Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals happening. So that is one of the big events for Walmart in the US. So uh, we built that for Walmart scale. So we used to get terabytes of love for day. <laughs> so that event successful. Said okay, it's super good. Which year was it? Uh, it's in 2014. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Still, you were working on that. Yeah. So that because Walmart scale was so high at that time, and especially the Cyber Monday, Black Friday is the main deals for them. So then, okay, we said like as a security community, go and present in conferences. Yeah, that was the idea. Yeah. But uh, bigger companies, bigger problems. <laughs> they said you have to go through patent pending yeah. process and all. I said okay, maybe I have to look after different company because I'm not trying to do what I wanted to do. Uh, but a uh, good learning because it's all enterprise. I, I got fortunately able to fly my first class flight internationally. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those parts come with the yeah. company. <laughs> then I uh, looking after uh, some another thing. So I had bunch of op- opportunities. But I used to work with Akash like back in the other uh, side also. Majan. Akash Majan. Okay. So he said, okay, why not? Uh, we are also building a team at Axico. Uh, then I said, okay. Then the one of the important thing for me was learning mm-hmm. most of my career. Okay. Then I can get to learn a lot of things because yeah. build them. Then I said, okay, I'll join. So we used to work for uh, almost four years in Axico nearly. Uh, there I joined as a second employee. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. that's good. So we started building uh, consulting, research, and uh, trainings, and also some of the internal products. So most of my career there is quite different variations. I get bored very quickly. <laughs> so Akash used to find me different roles in within the company. I started doing pen testing. I did OSCP there. Then I also did like uh, converted into DevOps. I may, used to manage the entire operations like uh, cloud and other things. Not just security at all. The other side. Then it was fun. So we written actually a book on security with automation uh, like Ansible. So it was super good. Like uh, then like whatever we do, we try to publish it. So I went. That's a good thing. Yeah. Going back to the community is a big thing. So then while doing that, I involved with Nal a lot as well, and also a bunch of other communities like Obas. Uh, all the DevOps I used to involve with that. Yeah. And so I used to moderate their DevSecOps plan. Still okay. today, almost six years. <laughs> this year also seven. Then um, yeah, uh, also DevSecOps community at that time. The Shannon lead, she used to lead this uh, DevSecOps back in 2016, I think. Yeah. Right <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, that is. Nice. So then it was nice. So then I was also doing a lot of research on Kubernetes containers early days because in uh, Walmart we used to experiment with the Docker one of the engineer. So I used to learn and work with the DevOps people. So I used to experiment myself. And one thing I really good at is to try to pick new tool, anything come out, I'll try out myself. Okay, see if anything I can use for security. So there we started building some of the things like uh, how we can uh, test for container security issues, how we can use ourselves Kubernetes and stuff. Then I said, okay, why not? I'll go and share this research. So we started presenting at a conference. Actually, my forgot. I present the ELK stack research also once in DevCon, like my 2016. That was my first uh, DevCon conference, I think, back in 2016. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then after that, I continuously presenting after that DevCon every year. Uh, oh, pretty much. Nice. <laughs> I'm presenting papers to taking trainings now. Yeah. So, so now I do a lot of workshops, but I'm training. So this year I did first uh, DevCon training. Then uh, Walmart, yeah, we did a lot of work. Like I started working with communities, like especially like all the DevOps, uh, uh, use Nix also. I was okay. presenting them. It's more academia research. Right. So I said I can learn on the side of the material. I traveled a lot, especially because of the Axeco and uh, the opportunities I had. Like I used to travel almost so many countries <laughs> and uh, also present and share. Then yeah, then I think I said okay, maybe I learned so many things here. I thought I'll move outside and how it looks like. Then, so uh, when did you move out? Uh, in 2020, I think uh, Jan. Okay, uh, so you are currently based out of Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I said, okay, I'll move out and see how it looks like, then I can travel within Europe. Yeah, I joined a very uh, boutique consulting company called Zebia. Uh, it's a consulting company in uh, Netherlands. So I used to work for a fintech company. Uh, so they have a big bank. Runs on okay. Kubernetes. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's why you yeah, uh, okay. yeah, so my job was okay, they have a good security, good in the name time. How can I build defense in depth layers for them? So I started helping them in architecture, how we can put some guardrails in each layer, even something got hacked, how we can reduce blast radius. It was fun. Then I keep continuing my research and presenting. So then I said, okay, whatever I did, why can't I open source? Like, uh, so I created Kubernetes code that time yeah. in uh, 2019 or 2020. Yeah. So it went very nice and the community received very well. So I started presenting again this uh, and shared the research. I spoke at a bunch of conferences like GitHub Shatlight, Black Hat, US, RU, uh, Asia, <laughs> OWASP, and all this. Uh, then I said, okay, then slowly I started taking other side of the approach. Like maybe I started contributing, maybe new people can contribute. So I started taking, uh, uh, okay, maybe I'll change the rather than speaker. So I started contributing to Usenix, Lisa, some conferences, review board member. 
then rather me someone will submit but still i connect with community yeah then after that i worked for the some time in the consulting then i joined the miro because the most of my career i worked in bigger enterprises very early stage startups and consulting never work done growing company or uh, scale up uh, type of they said like okay we just raise series b we are going to build a big security team just now we don't had a big security team anything in amsterdam so was the first time so there i started building mostly uh, security engineering function uh, we are heavy building like how we can scale the security because our company grown insanely fast <laughs> when i joined like uh, hardly we had 8, 8 million users yeah, just in year like uh, okay this skyrocketed and the people never went in the market yeah that was fun experience because i never experienced that growth anywhere in the uh, most of my career or uh, even as of now yeah there i learned to build rather just uh, i think uh, technical most i was doing non technical job like managerial kind of role uh, uh, but i learned a lot like how to build stakeholder management mm-hmm. and mostly rather we focus on security we focus on engineering let's say we wanted to fix some security issues go and like a pinpointing we write the helm charge we write the security thing so that a lot of security issues can fix uh, in early stage of the things like i agree with you yeah defense and that and all exactly that, everything on yeah. so that all happening i think i'm keep continuing hopefully so now i quit me you know recently actually sometime back yeah i start my own company called my do okay again yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's no doubt about yeah. that so uh, it's a solo printer company so i i live in the netherlands so i work from there uh, i work with some consulting companies mm-hmm. and also parallelly working with some companies as advisor startups So helping them to build a company okay. roadmap. It's so. totally consulting. Yeah. So the advisory is mostly their very early stage startups. So I help them in building security programs. Or uh, some of them security startups, helping them to build open source programs. Okay. Or uh, like roadmap or some stuff. Maybe yeah. That working well because I learn a lot from them how they are doing, and I also get paid for that, which is really awesome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's all happening. Yeah. That, that, and I recently came to present at Nalgon. So. Uh, Yeah, that was super nice to meet you. Yeah, physical. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty. Super fun, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 totally fine. We all want good content coming yeah. from the people who have already done it. So yeah, I wanted to ask like, I I totally get that while you were starting, there was not this this much resources as it's available now. Like everyone is just they start hacking, they find hundreds of bug bounty resources, Kubernetes, a hundred of things. So let's say who is a college student, and or let's say they are a professional who is not into cyber security. and they would want to get into it mm-hmm. not only kubernetes but let's say in general cyber security so how do you suggest them to start like one thing you mentioned i picked that you say that you have been experimenting throughout your life to get to know yeah. thing which is one of the very good ways but what else what do you suggest for a person who is starting into it yeah i think of, at least if i look back at my career at people i have interacted is mostly finding the right people like uh, even in the job if i have to pick a job i'll pick around the people team i work with because that is always important in environment i think if you find right community or uh, mentors uh, that is really changing because you might not know what is there out there because you still early in the career so that will help you them to guide you if you are in tracking different path or something and they'll also oh, build right. you because the more you work with smarter people basically you inherently uh, in, like get their habits smarter, the way they you yeah, they think and other thing and also think about breadth because early career is not meant to go i'll go in depth into app sec because you don't like after 3 years because that's uh, that's interest true. will always change i realized very early that you just don't need to go into one thing yeah. because now i've been realizing the infrastructure security is itself a very big thing and there's a lot to learn i was initially very much into just like app sec and yeah. web application and all those things kind of but now i've started into it. so yeah that makes sense that totally makes sense yeah. yeah first you should explore because it's a very big yeah. field the more you have breadth knowledge even if tomorrow okay you get bored sometime you at least know something is exists which you might like so you can give it a try then you can again go deep of course you'll definitely get bored i think i got bored very quickly compared to anyone at least maybe so at least i know because i keep trying out experimenting if i have to even that will help in long run also let's say if i'm experimenting with node js react or something okay tomorrow i join some company there is a front end dude i have to go and talk to him at least i know some cool frameworks i can talk to him okay. oh there is a react js okay do you use tailwind or did you try out bungee yes something which makes the conversation easier they also trust us as a security oh they know what they are talking at least in my field so which builds much a good relationship yeah that that also break guys at i saw your website even that is i think tailwind css and yeah my no is yeah. or so i think who go yeah the another uh, who buried is good by the dark sir i saw that because i was just looking that looks very good how do i make similar kind of stuff and then I, in the comments or something i saw that in the html comment that it was dark sir so yeah that's quite cool another thing that is i get a lot of question like is there is there, like there are 
there are different varieties of questions some people say that there's not much money in this trade because there as you mentioned there's good money coming in and everyone has a concern that okay developer jobs are there and they know what the salary range is what is like that but in india if you start in cyber sector do you think if the salary is good enough that they can start it's not like very low and it's not very extreme high end uh salary is i don't know it is controversially covered i don't know no, first of all yeah i mean sir the first of all i don't know how the indian market because uh, okay, been, yeah. uh, but if i look back at my career i never worked at least uh, for almost 6 to 8 years my career for the salary as a main uh-huh. income i used to think about mostly learning as much as i can learn grab the knowledge yeah. it's important because you'll pay off someday uh, now if i have to go and hire join some big company i can get paid like a very yeah. good money So the more you learn, acquire the knowledge, the more better. So actually, it's very yeah, really yeah. important that you build, invest in yourself. Yes, exactly. Than just investing, getting yeah. some money and getting some job. Yeah. I think, given this, if you have enough knowledge and technical skills, I'm sure you'll get pretty good enough salary, yeah. which can be sufficient. That's what I've been telling people. Ki, there's no <laughs> lack of money here. Yeah. I know Roy that, and a lot of my juniors and folks who are already working into cyber security, they are getting pretty good salary yeah. and better than a lot of developers that I know. So salary is not a concern. I would say, but yeah, learning is one thing that you you should be focused on. Thank you, Anil. That Thank was really nice talking you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Roy, for all this help.